When you read or hear the Bible lines say, Woe to thee, woe to that man, woe to them, woe to that city. They are simply saying, let misery, let destruction, let damnation, let humiliation, let ruin, let calamity, let misfortune, and all such things be the lot of such a man, be the lot of such a, a people, and be the lot of such a city. That is the meaning of war. And then it is in the light of this definition that everyone that is listening to me out there must see the horrible and precarious state of anyone that the Lord is declaring war upon. Any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, any religious person, and any unreligious person, any city, any assembly, any country, upon whom the Lord is declaring war. In Ecclesiastes, Chapter 10 and verse 16. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. I want to reel out a number of uh, uh, status that if you are a pastor, you are a mentor, falls into any of those uh, aspects of status, then you are risking this uh, war that the Lord is placing upon the people whose uh, uh, leader, whose prince is a child. Now listen to me. Is your mentor, the person that you are listening to, is he a person that has never met Jesus experientially and he is your pastor? It is his book that you are reading. It is his preaching that you are listening to. He has no experiential knowledge of Jesus Christ. There is not any time that he can say that through godly sorrow that leads to repentance, I repented of my sins, and then I came to God confessing my sins and believed God, and then my sins were taken away from me, and I have an assurance that my sins were taken away, blotted away, and forgotten. And I am having an assurance that I have the earnest of the Spirit. Now, the person that you are listening to does he have the testimony of not only this uh, fundamental, foundational experience, does he have uh, the second experience that is called sanctification, in the which the Spirit of God comes into the inner recesses of the heart of the man, and then deals with what is known as the nasty nature of the natural man. That is a person that is your king. That is a person that is your, your, your pastor and your mentor. He doesn't have the foundational experience. He doesn't have the second one. And he doesn't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now remember that Jesus Christ had before he allowed them to go full bore into ministry. He said, you wait until you be endured with power from on high. Until you be endured with power and you have the wisdom and understanding. Apart from that, when the people were still manifesting ego, when they were still manifesting selfishness, remember, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 20, 
when the sons of Zebedee with their mother came to Jesus Christ and said, the mother said, this is my request. When you come in your kingdom, let this my son be on the right and this my other son be on the left. The, le the rest can be, can be at the gate. The rest can, even if they didn't reach there, no problem. Self-centeredness, that is what we're having in the people that some people are listening to. And at that point in time, he couldn't let them go into ministry proper and leave them with the ministry. No. He continued dealing with them. He continued talking. He continued ministering and continued walking through precept and practice until the, we are cleansed. All the ego, all the pride, all the, all the nasty nature of the natural man was uh, taken away and the Lord Jesus Christ testified. And in John chapter 15, now in verse 3, he said, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. It was after this that they were qualified to receive the Holy Spirit. Now, woe unto the child, woe unto the congregation, woe unto anybody that is listening to people that don't have this qualification. You are listening to somebody that is full of ego and full of himself. You are listening to somebody that loves this world and his, uh, his uh, ways and practices show that he loves the world and is a man of the world. And uh, people call them funky pastors. That is the person you are listening to. You are in trouble. You are already running and uh, you are already putting yourself in the line of God's woes. Remember that if you stand in the path of lightning, it will burn you and you become like shakur. You will stay in the path, lightning passes, and you are in that path. Listen to me. It will do to you what it will do to a green tree. It will set fire in the green tree. Don't let anybody stand in the path of God's woes by... Having mentor, role model, and a pastor, general overseer, priest, that is a child that is untaught and uncleansed, as we have seen.